Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like this video, and you leave any comments that you have for me down below. Recently, ColourPop decided to relaunch their blotted lips in a different formula, a different package, kind of a different feel and perspective to them. They used to be liquid. Uh, I think I might have a couple still, I'm not quite sure, but I have their old formulation, but they decided to do a more traditional lipstick tube with their blotted lips, and I'm gonna be swatching all of them for you guys today. I have all uh, eight of them, and we're gonna be doing that, and I'm gonna show you guys how these look, how telling you guys how they feel, all the fun stuff, so if you're interested in seeing all of that, then just keep on watching. And as always guys, make sure that you're following me on Instagram whenever I'm not here, I'm on there and I have my personal slash influencer Instagram as well as my product photography Instagram. You guys know I'm a product photographer, I focus on beauty products, so if you're interested in seeing that with a little bit of a review sprinkled here and there, uh, follow on either or both if you want. <laughs> Okay, so reading the specs on these lip products for you on their website, these are the new and improved blotted lip, leaves a creamy sheer payout on the first swipe and can build up to medium coverage, delivers casual color and a blurred focus matte finish. We swear you'll love, no blotting necessary. Um, so, to give you guys a little bit of background, ColourPop did used to have the blotted lips in a liquid form. Long story short for you guys, I wasn't a huge fan of the blotted lips beforehand. I found that even though they felt really lightweight on the lips, they still were a little bit patchy on me. I wasn't getting the, the finish that I really wanted. Like they were almost too stain-like too sheer for me so wasn't a huge fan i only picked up maybe two or three colors if i remember correctly but i have high hopes for these i feel like these are going to be more like a bomb like a tinted bomb i'm not entirely sure so we're gonna figure that out together and i'll show you guys the boxes right here i mean really standard very cute little boxes and it has the color with the color name on the top right there so it'll be nice i honestly just bought the set and i figured i would just swatch all of them for you because i was curious myself so let's see what this looks like so pulling it out right now very standard color pop packaging i would say cute little sparkles and stars there and i mean pretty slim little tube i like that this one almost exactly matches the the tube that it's in are all of them like that very curious oh no so they're all the same color tube no I'm wrong they're different they're a little different okay that makes more sense they smell sweet they're sweet scented uh, sugary scent and I'm just gonna take them all out of the boxes for you guys now so just to show you guys an example so I have this shade right here on film they all are pretty much the same in packaging here the only difference really would be that the name is right there on that top line and again slim packaging really nice really easy to just like throw in your purse as it should be in my opinion <laughs> i've yet to even look at these until this video so i'm pretty excited i'm hoping that i like this formulation a lot more than i used to so let's just get into it right now uh let's see so the first one is going to be super mellow i have a piece of lint right here i'm filming with natural light today so i'm really hoping that the sun stays out while i'm doing this it's pretty late in the afternoon but i don't think the sun's gonna set anytime soon we'll see how this goes so here we have super mellow and we're just gonna go ahead and apply this on the lips i have bare lips here for you guys and let's go ahead and apply okay this one either the color is really light or the pigmentation is really light but it's really light <laughs> as you can see here it's creamy it feels like a tinted lip balm honestly okay i turned the brightness up for you guys because it's a little dark from what i can see in the viewfinder over here but this is super mellow it's going to be the lightest one that they have and let's see if they have any descriptions for all of the specific colors 
Oh, so there's more on the site here. So they're super blotted, super buttery, and super comfy. It says they're infused with argan butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, and super fruit butter and they're formulated with vegan collagen. So this one is gonna be a soft, cool, pinky nude in a soft matte finish, swipe and go. Not sure if these stain. I'm sure I'll be able to tell with the shades that are a little darker than this one. But let's move on to Otter. So Otter is described as a muted pale rose and let's apply this now. So they're definitely sheer. I wouldn't say they're medium coverage, well, no, if we're comparing this to like a gloss type of sheer, then yeah, this would be a medium coverage, but for lipstick, I don't know, I would say at least these last two shades are a sheer coverage in my opinion. So this is the shade Otter. I definitely think that this is a pale rose, so they did a really good job at describing these. The more I'm like applying these, the more creamy they feel, and it makes me think that you're not gonna get that much product because it is already a pretty slim tube and it's very creamy, so I would imagine you would be using a lot of it each time you would apply, and because it is sheer or medium coverage, you're gonna be applying a lot throughout the day, just depending on if you want that same look throughout the entire day. It says that there is 1.60 grams of product or 0.06 ounces, so not a ton, not a ton, but also the price point at $7 isn't too bad, and if you really like the color and the formulation, I mean, I think it's a good, product for you and I honestly don't go through all of my lip products I barely ever go through a lip product so again like I've said in past videos I'm not too pressed about how much product you get next color is Los Feliz and this one is described as a muted warm peach I like a good peach color you guys know Okay, so this one definitely gives you more of that blotted look. I'm starting to really see the blotted lip effect to these. I like the shade. They're very nourishing. Because they're so creamy and they're so skinny, I know I keep talking about this, I feel like it's gonna break on me, I don't know. <laughs> you can still kind of see my lip color underneath it. So this is Los Feliz. I like the shade, this is really pretty. Like if I were just going for something really, really neutral throughout the day, this would be a good one for me. And then I feel like this one would look really, really cute with lip liner. Next one we have here is On Film, which is described as a muted warm terracotta. You guys know that I really love these types of shades and they tend to be my favorites, so I hope that this one works out for me. I don't think it's gonna be as dark on the lips than it is in the tube, so let's go ahead and apply this one. This one definitely is like my everyday staple, like what I would go for if I wanted a blotted lip for every day. You can see a lot better with a shade like this on me how it kind of looks feathered out on the outlines. Looks really nourishing. I love this color. Very pretty. It really complements my lip color because it is not a full coverage lipstick. You're going to see a little bit of your natural lip color. So I feel like this one definitely complements that on me. Looks really cute. I like this one a lot. Gives it a little something but it's not too dramatic, you know? Like if I want a little bit of color, but I don't want it to be like a very fussy lip color, this would be a really great one. Okay, so it's a little stained. Like I went ahead and blotted it off. I feel like throughout the day to let it fade, it would kind of turn into this situation. So yeah, I would say it has a little bit of staining power, probably not a lot, but then again, I'm like putting these on and a minute later wiping them off. Like I always do, I'm gonna try to update the description down below when I wear these again for a longer period of time. So read that and I'll let you guys know like if it ended up staining my lips, if I still like them, like all that information, I'll update in the description. The next shade we have is Missing You. It is a muted soft warm strawberry. Ooh, that's interesting. I've never heard it described, like I've never heard of a color described as strawberry, but that's very universal. That's smart, okay. <laughs> hmm, okay, this is lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, I thought this was 
gonna be a lot darker. I was excited for it. This one looks a little more patchy in my opinion. Obviously it's gonna be lighter on the lips than it is in the tube, but still lighter than I imagined. If you are going for a more berry look though, this one would probably be your best bet. Okay, next we have Talker. This one is described as a soft rouge, so I'm assuming it means like a soft red color. In the tube, it does look more pink in my opinion, but let's go ahead and apply this and see how it looks. Okay, I like this one. It's not a red on me. I would say that this one is definitely more of a pinky berry shade, but the pigmentation on this one seems a lot more even. The last shade that we did, which was Missing You? Yeah, the last shade, Missing You, definitely didn't feel like it was as evenly pigmented throughout, but this one looks like it to me, and it just like complements better. I do like this. I wouldn't say it's a red, but I do like the shade. Surprisingly, I really, really like this shade. I feel like it's pink, but it's not too pink on me because it is not a full coverage lipstick. So it gives me a little bit of pink, like it hints towards a pink, but it still looks really wearable on my skin tone. I feel like on fair complexions, this one would look really, really pretty. It might be a little too pale pink for people of darker complexions, but I think that for me, like sitting at medium complexions, this is really good. It's a good pink option for someone that sits right in the middle in like medium complexion like I do. This almost gives me the effect of like a filter, you know? Like it's the shade that whenever you pick a filter that has like makeup, like natural makeup, this is what my lips look like. All right, the next shade looks like a really fun color. This is the shade Shook and it's described as a soft, bright magenta. So let's look here and see how it swatches. Also, I forgot to mention that on the website, ColourPop does a really, really good job at doing lip swatches on a bunch of different complexions. So you kind of get a feel for what it's gonna look like on the lips, but it's not always 100% accurate in my case. So, I mean, there's that resource in case you want to use that, but there's also videos like these that are also helpful in my opinion. I feel like when I think blotted lip look, I'm thinking like an everyday look. So this is definitely not a shade that I would wear every day, but I could see this looking really pretty. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Clinique Black Honey, but in a sheer formulation. Definitely not as glossy, but it gives you kind of that same effect of like a berry lip stain. I can see a lot of people really liking this shade. Again, this is the shade Shook. It is really pretty. Um, I can't see myself wearing this every single day. Like if I were to reach for one of these every day, it would probably be that warm terracotta in the shade on film. But this is a really nice, very pretty one. And I feel like this shade is super trendy right now. So I can see this being a fan favorite. Last shade we have in the collection is Melty. I really like that name, and it's described as a soft, warm chocolate shade. So let's see what this one looks like on the lips. It's okay, but I feel like since it is a darker shade, you can really tell when it's patchy. Whenever I do these swatch videos, they can get a little patchy on my lips because I am like wiping off a bunch of colors and applying a bunch of colors, so it could be, it could very much be a lot more pigmented and even in color whenever I would like apply this. But you can definitely see like in the corners right here where it's a little more patchy on me. I can see this looking really beautiful on someone with tan to a little darker of a complexion. For me, I don't think that it's that flattering and I also feel like, like I said, you can just really see the blotted lip effect with something like this, but it's not even enough in, for me. This color I think would be complemented really, really well though with a gloss. I think that would really help solve the issue of it looking a little too patchy on me. But yeah, this is it on its own. In the monitor though, it looks really good. So just wanna say that. <laughs> 
All right, so I went ahead and put on film back on for this portion of the video and to give you guys kind of my first impressions on these, they definitely give you a lot more of an even coverage than their old blotted lip formula. Like you saw in the swatches, some of them like the darker ones or the very pale ones didn't really give you as even coverage or give me as even coverage as I wanted. I feel like right in the middle, like those middle shades is where I really liked the formulation. Honestly, to each their own for me blotted lips I want it to look the most natural like I want it to almost look like my lips are just a really pretty natural shade I guess right here you can see I've gone ahead and like pulled all of the product up so you don't get like a ton can you see that you don't get a ton and because it's so creamy I could imagine you go through this pretty quickly like I've said in so many videos you guys are probably tired of it whatever I use every single day is gonna be worth it for me. So at $7, that's a steal if I'm using it every single day. If I'm paying like 30 bucks for a lipstick, that is expensive, but if I'm using it every day and it's like going to be used up, that's worth it to me. So if you end up really loving this formulation, $7, such a good deal. Get a couple of shades that you really like and just like switch them out, you know, for any occasion. But for me, do I think this is worth it? Yes, I think it's worth it. Do I think the formulation is a lot better than their old one? Yes, I do. I do really enjoy a traditional lipstick more than a liquid lipstick. That's just me. I just feel like it's way easier to reapply throughout the day. That's something that I'm looking for, like a no fuss type of lip product. And these are definitely a no fuss in my opinion. You can wear this without a lip liner and just be happy with it. Like I do in every video, I'm gonna be putting it right here, my rank of all of the shades. So my most favorite in number one, and then my least favorite in number eight, and just show you guys, just so you have a little bit of a reference here. I didn't find these difficult to take off. I just use a paper towel to wipe it off. Sometimes I will use my Neutrogena eye makeup remover. This one right here, you guys always ask me how I take really stubborn, really like stay all day lip products off in these swatch videos. I always, always, always use this one. So if you have any type of lip product that you're having trouble with removing, use this. But I didn't have to use this today. I had it here just in case. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and I'll let you guys know how it ends up wearing and if it stains or anything like that. I will be having dinner, so I'll update you on how that goes. I can't imagine that this is super long wearing. It's just meant in my eyes to be something that's easy to just throw on all day, kind of like a lip balm. So I don't know, I enjoy that it is hydrating. I like the feeling of a more hydrated lip balm me like product that's everything for this video guys I know it was a shorter one but I hope that it was helpful for you if you do decide to pick up any of these shades let me know which ones you are getting or which ones you got and let me know what you think about this formulation as well is it better than the old one did you ever try the old one is this gonna be a staple for you let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!